What is going on today guys? Tomcat here and today I'm bringing you guys some next car game. Now I haven't been in next car game in a really long time and an update recently released for next car game which added a few new features and most most importantly two new stages. Now I'll be showing one stage in this first uh, in this in this particular video and then in the next video on next car game we'll be showing the next stage. Now They've added a mud pit and a sand pit, and they both sound extremely awesome. Um, I haven't been actually on either one of those yet, but we're just going to go ahead and take the volume down a couple notches because I feel like it's always been really high. Either way, uh, we're going to go back to the game, and we're going to be taking out <laughs> we're going to be taking out the 500 horsepower uh, cop car that's been beat up and trashed over pretty much every single one of my next car game videos but what we're gonna do with it is we're gonna go ahead and take it to a demolition derby in the mud pit now I've never been here before ever so I'm gonna have to relearn the controls but hopefully that'll happen pr pretty quick and the only thing I'm worried about though is are we gonna get stuck in this mud pit cuz that would suck if you're like if you just get stuck in the middle of this mud pit and everybody's like hitting you from all sides and it's like well there goes your there goes your demolition derby you're you're screwed so I'm hoping it's not too bad oh my god this is gonna be freaking carnage oh my god holy shit this is gonna be carnage come on then. Ugh. Ugh. Damn it! Get into gear! Go! Oh my god, okay, no traction control, spinning in circles the entire time. I guess that's sort of, that's sort of what happens when you put the 500 horsepower V8 in this car. You take out the 300 horsepower V8, you stick the 500 horsepower monster. Jeez, get off me, oh my god! Ugh. Come on then. Ugh. Not a bad run. The only thing is, you can't really hit people head on that much with this car because if you do, then you're done. If you do, I mean, if you do well, not just once, but if you do it too many times, it can be really bad for your car because of the fact that this thing is front engine. So you almost have to drift into people and hit them with like the rear of your car, which can be really tricky to do. And if people the thing is, people will aim for the front end of this car, and pretty much any of the any of the, the the front engine cars in this game, they will aim for the front end, and that can spell a lot of trouble for you. That's actually why that guy had a really good idea, a really good strategy of attacking people in reverse. I never actually thought of that until I saw that guy doing it, and it's actually a very good idea, considering where the engine is in this car. Come on! Oh, damn, damn, damn. I want to take somebody out already. Jeez. Although it's hard when the only gear you want to use is reverse. Oh, narrowly missed me. Alright, come on then. Ugh. This whole reversing idea doesn't seem to be working very well. I mean, it's working in the way that I, in the sense that I'm staying alive, but don't you dare. Don't you dare. I do not want to get caught up in that. Either way, though, I'm staying alive longer than I would have if I kept charging head first into everybody. Ooh, trying to re basically reverse drift try and catch up with these guys at this point with an engine this damaged I'm thinking that actually the 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 pacifism approach might be a good idea just let all these guys not all of them take each other out but a bunch of them let a bunch of them just take each other out or try and lead them into walls that's always really really fun come on oh geez yeah, I didn't want to get caught up in the middle of that. That wasn't the... Uh, uh, help! Oh, jeez. 
you gotta be able to get dang it. Trying to aim for something. God, my engine is so damaged. Like one or two hits and I'm dead. Those guys are close to completely taking each other out though. Nine of them left. Let's see if I can, dang it. I was gonna say, see if I can keep this thing in the straight line, but that didn't really happen. Ooh, it's very hard to keep things in a straight line that have rear wheel drive, 500 horsepower, and a mud pit. Yeah, that's, no! Critical damage, I knew that was coming. I knew that was gonna happen at some point. It's just a matter of when. Now the, now the whole deal is just to stay alive. If I can stay alive, I'll definitely, I'll be happy with, I'll be happy with just staying alive. If, if, you know, even if I don't get any takedowns, I'll be happy with just staying alive till the end of this thing because it's definitely, oh, I feel like with this update as well, they've made the controller a little bit more responsive. I don't know if that's just me or if that's actually a thing. I feel like, I feel like it's gotta be, right? It's gotta be because I, I'll be honest, I didn't do a lot of investigating into the specifics of this update other than the tracks. But I just feel like the responsiveness is better. It's it's a weird feeling, but I don't know. Maybe it's because I haven't been on the game in a while. I'm not totally sure. But again, it feels more responsive. And and I, maybe I'm overthinking it, but some of the graphics kind of look a little bit sharper. But that might just be me overthinking it. I, that's probably me overthinking the update. Um, I don't know if that's correct. Oh, jeez. Damn, I thought I was going to die on that one. Ooh. Try and keep at least a little bit. Ooh. I'm so close. Just let these two take each other out, and then I'll, like, lure that last one into a wall or something. And try and win, because my damage is so critical. Just doing freaking laps around the map right now. Map. What am I talking about? This like, uh, oh god! It gets really tense when you're at critical damage. It gets so tense. I want to watch these guys try and take each other out. The only problem is they'll probably aim for me. Ooh, that was that. Yeah, that was a little close. No! No! Wow. Okay. Okay, okay, I see how it is. Yeah, we're gonna do that over. We're gonna do that over. And I have a different idea for an approach this time. To not approach them at all. <laughs> to not approach them at all. And just allow the carnage to happen in the beginning. And just kind of preserve my car's health until later on when I really, really, damn it! Later on when I really, really need it. My, my engine is already partially damaged just from that one hit. It sucks having the engine that exposed in a demolition derby like this. Although I do like this better than the other stadium. I feel like it's a lot more... Uh, I don't, it's almost, it feels more authentic, to be honest. It, it feels like a more authentic uh, environment for this kind of event. And just kind of the mud pit idea just really suits it well. This would be crazy in multiplayer. I've got to say, this would be amazing to play in multiplayer. It just with the the sheer chaos that would happen with such a wide open space, and then you know with this pit in the middle, there would be everybody just charging into the pit and just going insane trying to wreck each other out. It would be awesome. I, I definitely oh, out of the way, out of the way. Damn it! We pounded. Oh, I was trying to drift into that guy. It didn't, didn't end up working. That one corner is like really, really... Wow. Wow. We walked right into... Or drove right into that, I should say. Um, so you can't really walk right into it in a car. Yeah, that wouldn't quite work properly. Tried to avoid... Ooh. Reverse! Yeah, better for him to hit me there than, than the engine. 
And I'm just drifting in circles because I know I can hit people in reverse by doing this, and it'll be a lot more effective than hitting people head on. As long as I don't get hit from the front. If I don't get hit from the front like that, I'm critical again. Oh, jeez. I'm going to have to go back to the pacifism approach. Look at that. It looks like someone took a freaking giant sledgehammer to the rear end of my car. It's freaking crazy. As we observe the... Oh, God. I was going to say... I was going to say, as we observe the next car game AI in its natural habitat, but then I was so rudely interrupted by a little Fiat or something, something small and European, I don't know. Ow! Come on! Come on! Oh, don't, don't die on me now, please. Or, should, or rather, don't get killed. Mm, oh my god, I thought I was dead on that one. I legitimately thought I was dead until I was able to keep go- I, I, I saw that I was able to keep going. And I was like, there's no way that my car would have survived. It's a huge pile up in the middle. I feel like that's just, just to be expected. And then the tires just getting spread all over the- over, all, bleh, all over the place. Can't speak for some reason. Um, we've got 10 guys left, so as long as they can take each other out, we'll be good to go. The pro there we go. Okay, 9, 8. Not bad. The problem is, I feel like, is going to come when we get to the point where it's like three, three people left, because then it takes a while for them to take each other out, and then I feel like I have to step in, and then I end up taking myself out by ramming into a wall or something. Narrowly dodged that one. Yeah. Oh God! Oh, oh! Back up! Back up! Get back up! Back up! Oh, if that was my engine, I would have been gone. Five opponents remaining. Let's hope they take each other out quickly, because I am in no shape to do it. Although there is something strangely satisfying about winning a demolition derby with zero takedowns. There's something oddly satisfying about that. And it's weird, you don't figure it out until you actually like until you actually try it and do it. So oop. Just stay composed. Stay calm and uh, collect the Oh my god! Wow, I thought he was gonna take me out. Ended up taking him out. That worked out really well. Come on. Come on. Really trying to preserve this car until the end. Oop. No! Right when I say I'm trying to preserve this car until the end, everybody, everybody comes after me. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. But... That has been a look at the new Mud Pit in Next Car Game. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I am sorry I didn't actually win one of those rounds. Um, I will try... I will try very hard to win to win it in the next round, um, or, or in the next episode of Next Car Game, I should say. Um, because the next one will be racing, and racing is a lot easier for me to win than those demolition derbies. But I'll practice at the demolition derbies and try to get better. But then again, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one.